One more amazing gift idea coming up in a little bit, but for now, let's get back to our conversation with Nikki Hayden from yesterday. Having had a chance to throw a leg over the new bike, did you unveil anything about yourself, about your riding style, that um, that you've said, oh yeah, I've really developed this particular part of my riding in the last five years. Maybe it'd be braking or corner speed or getting the bike lip, you know, upright, getting out of the corner. Was there anything that you really identified for yourself, uh, having been on a new bike, that you said, ah, oh, okay, this is this is where I am. You know, I can't say just yet. I need a little bit more to get the bike, you know, more time with the bike and more on the limit. But it was interesting. A few of the problems I've been struggling with, I definitely felt less of an issue with this bike. So, um, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, of course, the Ducati was a, a very different feel and uh, different feedback. But, you know, the Ducati also had, had its good points. So, when it was working, it was a good bike. And uh, this one's a bit different. So, I'll... You can probably answer that question better down the road with a bit more time and a bit more, uh, you know. I mean, jumping on a new bike to get the first ninety percent is pretty easy. I mean, it was uh, within ten laps or something. You know, I felt reasonably comfortable on it, but you know, it's that next couple percent that got to find. Expectations too early to <coughs> predict for two thousand fourteen for you. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to put a number on it just yet. We need to understand, well, at this test, we were down a bit on top speed, but some of that was related to the gearings and different things. So uh, we we got to understand just how competitive these open bikes can be before I can really say. So uh, well, we'll see. You actually interact with fans, don't you? You you actually control your Twitter feed and, and some of your Facebook. Is that correct? Yeah, most all my Twitter, yeah, pretty well, pretty much do that for for good or for bad. Of course, my website and my Facebook, uh, our PR people handle some of that, but even I'm a little bit involved in in my Facebook with some updates. So yeah. So that Twitter, what what have you seen feedback, excitement coming from your fan base? Oh, well, great. I mean, in my, I got some really good fans, good or bad. So I can't really say, uh, you know, with the chain. I mean, it doesn't. I get a lot of support, good days, bad days or not. So, of course, uh, you know, I've had a long history in the past with Honda. So there's a lot of Honda fans that are, you know, writing to me and uh, welcoming me back. So uh, it's an exciting time for me. All right. We're just before Thanksgiving at the holiday season coming up. Any plans that you want to let us know about? Anything, anything big going on? No, sorry. I don't have anything too exciting. Um, nothing really too much to report. So uh, still a little bit. I mean, I'll go, I'll go back to the doctor Monday to find out when I got the green light to do a bit more. But for the moment, just uh, taking it pretty easy and, and regrouping. So uh, certainly uh, this part of the season is, uh, you know, as much as I love the racing, love traveling, love being a part of the show, it's also nice to have a, a couple of weeks here without uh, without any international flights and uh, being able to uh, chill out a bit. Any great moments that stick out in your mind from the last five years of racing? Well, Great moments would be a bit of a stretch. I can't really say, uh, you know, it was a very challenging period. I mean, I did uh, enjoy the experience. I mean, uh, I love the team I worked with there. Riding for Ducati was uh, was certainly an experience I'll look back on and learned a lot. And uh, But to say really had a lot of great memories, I would have to look pretty hard. I would say the highlight of the five year was probably uh, my first podium at uh, Indy in 09 there was uh, was pretty pretty special because when I the, the start of that season was really tough but we really working with Filippo he helped me a lot especially in the electronics that year we made a big step and by the middle of the season we were very competitive and able to do the podium at home um, at Indianapolis in front of my fans there uh, with uh, with the special livery we had with my signature bike and then renewed the contract a couple of days later was uh, was probably the highlight. Last question I think revolves around um, a lot of the, the, the rumors and the speculation that was going on before we found out what your plans are for 2014. Um, is there anything you want to address? You know, was there, was there any truth to any of those rumors that were circulating around? Did, did people really know the inside track of what's going on or did you keep everything pretty quiet? 
Well, I would say sometimes, I mean, some of the rumors I hear about myself are so far from the truth that it just, uh, it makes me, uh, you know, have a bit of a giggle, but it doesn't really bother me either. I mean, you know, I've uh, <laughs> been around long enough. I don't, I don't really care. I guess it just makes me laugh sometimes that people think they know what they're talking about. Um, you know, when I read a story that I was linked to World Superbike uh, with BMW, uh, I really had a good laugh with that one because that was the, you know, I was talking with teams in World Superbike and was a real option that I took serious, but that was like one of the only teams that I hadn't talked with in World Superbike, but I, I forget where it was, but that was like the hot rumor that I was very close to a deal and, uh, like basically look for an announcement. So um, I just had a bit of a laugh. It makes me think about when I watch other sports stuff I hear and think, oh, I wonder, you know, and, and realize that some stuff they're way off. But most of that stuff, you know, the truth is, is where there's smoke, there's fire. And, uh, you know, at that point of the year, yeah, I was discussing a lot of different options with a lot of people. And uh, but in the end, um, with everything that went on, um, I'm very happy with where I'm at. I really like the so far this uh, the approach of the new team. They're very serious, very committed to winning. I mean, we've seen in Valencia, they first and second in Moto2. They were second in Moto3. They won the CRT race and championship again. So uh, the guys are serious about winning. All right, well, we're happy to see you stay in MotoGP with Colin and carry the flag. So, Nikki, thanks really taking so much time to spend here on Greg's Garage. We appreciate it. And hopefully as you get more testing on the new bike after the new year, we'll get to check in with you before the season starts and kind of see what's going on. Is that cool? That sounds good. Hopefully I have some good news at that point and got a smile on my face. So uh, take it easy over there and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. So I know I'm thankful to uh, be home, be home with my family and uh, having a holiday and somewhat healthy and preparing for another season. So uh, see. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Take it easy.